The percutaneous transluminal or balloon angioplasty is a treatment procedure to restore the blood flow in the narrowed or blocked coronary arteries caused due to plaques or blood clots. Most coronary angioplasty procedures last between 30 minutes to 3 hours. Once the patient is admitted, his heart is monitored and is given an intravenous sedative to relax the body. A needle is inserted through the wrist into the radial artery. A guard wire is then passed through the needle and is guided through the arterial system up to the heart. A flexible catheter is slipped over the wire and threaded up to the heart. This is monitored using a continuous X-ray imaging device called fluoroscope. At this point, the guard wire is removed and the tip of catheter is positioned to enter the coronary artery. A special dye is injected which allows the fluoroscope to take X-ray images of the arterial interiors and help in identifying the position of the block. This is called angiogram. Once the blockage is identified, a flexible guard wire is inserted into the artery vessel followed by a balloon tip catheter over this wire to position itself at the site of the blockage. Rapid inflation and deflation of the small balloon pushes the vessel wall out, re-establishing the flow of blood in the artery. After the blocked vessel is reopened, the deflated balloon catheter is withdrawn from the artery. The same treatment procedure is repeated in the case of multiple blockages. Most patients may also receive a coronary stent which is a small tube made of wire mesh designed to keep the artery open once it has been treated. A collapsed stent is placed over the deflated balloon catheter as it is inserted into position. When the balloon is inflated, the stent expands and locks itself into place. The deflated balloon and catheter are withdrawn, leaving the stent behind to hold the artery open permanently. Post-treatment, a pressure bandage is applied over the radial artery to prevent bleeding. One will need to lie down for several hours during which signs of bleeding or chest pain will be monitored. The patient may either be discharged on the same day or after an overnight stay at the hospital.